Man, imagine being involved in an incident and taking out one of the people that were responsible for your rise to fame and being a viral internet sensation like Ugly God and throwing it all away in a matter of minutes by taking the life of the person who was helping you the most, man. We got to talk about this situation that went down with Ugly God in Gulfport, Mississippi, where apparently he hit up his best friend's dad in a crazy incident and took him out and ended it. What's good, YouTube? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Brian Reacts TV, and we back with another one, man. Today, on the floor, we got Ugly God, man. The internet sensation, Ugly God, man. The boy went from being a mean sensation to, I guess, a rap sensation to now nah, my boy over here catching bodies, man. And this story right here, man, is crazy, but we're going to go ahead and let y'all watch it. We're going to react to this together. And like I always say, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we over here reacting. And it's your boy, Brad TV, man. Let's get into it. Tonight, one person dead and another behind bars after gunfire in Gulfport. It happened here on Deborah Drive off of Three Rivers Road. That victim has been identified as 50 year old Ronaldo De La Valde. Noah Noble was at the scene and he brings us the latest. We have to put a stop to it because we're losing. Like we're losing our youth. We're just, we're losing. Another shooting, another life lost to gun violence. 50-year-old Ronaldo Dalla Valade was killed in an Orange Grove shooting. He was shot multiple times behind the wheel of a Nissan, the blood-stained sedan crashing into a neighbor's car. Moments after the gunfire, an officer was on scene. Well, we were in the area pretty close, uh, and we were able to respond within minutes of the call. And I just wish we would have been here a little sooner. Another life also altered forever, the suspect who police chief Adam Cooper says was detained immediately, brought to the station, and is cooperating with detectives. Yo, so this incident is super wild. And apparently, Ugly God is pleading some type of self-defense, but the other members of the family that are involved in this incident are not too happy with what happened. But Gulfport police say one person is dead and another person is in custody after a shooting in Orange Grove. According to officials, the shooting took place just before noon at the 1000 block of Denver Drive. Officers who arrived found 50-year-old Ronaldo De La Valle dead from multiple gunshot wounds inside of a vehicle. We were in the area pretty close to Police Chief Captain Adam Cooper. We were able to respond within minutes of the call. I just we were there a little bit sooner, man. The motive and circumstances, however, surrounding the incident are still unknown at the time, but the member of the family that also came out and spoke has had a lot of words basically coming out at Ugly God at this time. What it seems like the victim's wife basically came out on Facebook and accused Ugly God heavily of being the person involved. She said that she posted a picture of her brother dropping off his murderer at college, Royce Davidson, AKA Ugly God. Oh, and zoom in on the birthday picture of the famous ugly god, Royce Davidson, who admitted to shooting my brother, 629-23, multiple times in his face. And she basically posts pictures of ugly god and their families together, which showed that they were a tight-knit group and there might have been some type of argument. She also posted a TikTok basically saying the big mansion where they stayed, where the murder took place, my brother was sitting in his car. This day, he never ever stepped foot out the car. Royce claimed self-defense. Really, this man practically raised you, she said. And then she basically posted a police report that basically gave more detail than was in the news. So yeah, man, this one's a crazy one. So I'm guessing um, ugly guy, real name is Royce Davidson and the victim was Ronaldo. So I guess basically, this some situation that extended from months before the situation even happened. So, which what makes it even crazy because in that case, you know how the law, law works. They gonna count that or go for a premeditated murder because you know he planned it ahead of time. But from what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing is basically the victim used to help take care of ugly God, help him get in the position he is now. Used to take him and his own son to school, so I guess it's like his best friend, Pops or something like that though, but man, it's crazy. Ugly God, AKA Royce Davidson, he's pleading self-defense in this case, but I don't know, man, for something that happened months ago and then, you know what I'm saying? But 
Let's get back into it though, see what's really going on. It's his fault that he did it and he was the person behind it, saying that his music career was dead and that's the reason why he did it. And basically post his XXL interview saying that he did it and posted the funeral and everything all together, man. It's honestly wild and I would have never expected social media to be like this type of situation. But at the same time, it's like crazy because it's like you live by social media, you might die by social media as you could tell by this. And I don't know if Ugly God's failing music career had something to do with it. Everyone thought he could come back. I don't even know why he just stopped making music or regardless like why he just kind of disappeared. I mean, he could have had some remnants of a career, but it's just crazy to see how these rappers just crash out, man. Like it's just another day, another story of a rapper crashing out for no reason that anyone could even tell. Like the man that apparently took him to school and college apparently is the person that he took out. So I can't even believe that this guy actually took him out and if he does get away with self-defense that would be super crazy but we don't really know what could have happened like honestly it could have been a heated argument with the other person pulled a gun on him but it seems like ugly god is definitely yeah man this one's wild one for real but yeah as far as that self-defense though in my opinion i don't know it all depends though like if it was in the car if the, when it was in the nissan together the victim pulled out a gun on him you know pulled out a knife or whatever any type of weapon and then ugly god felt like his life was in danger then okay yeah he could claim self-defense but if there's no proof of that and they're still going off of the altercations from months ahead before then it's like mm, it's a little like premeditated murder you know what i'm saying but we're going to let the justice system work out and do what they do to see what's really going on but we're going to keep an eye on this case for sure bro this one's a wild one, man. Like they say, man, clout is a dangerous drug, man. Stay away from drugs, kids. Say no to drugs, man. It's your boy, Brow TV Reacts, man. And we back with another one. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We over here reacting. And we out.